right, we're stopped uh, here on a, a side road, just off the main road in Mineville, and it's a little park road where people come walk their dogs and all sorts of things, but um, what you're looking at now is the offshoot that goes up into the, uh, up into the forest, and that's where we're going to begin our slight bit of bushwhacking to get to the adit, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you along the way. All right, we're gonna begin our hike here and uh, just heading up the hill. It's gonna be, I don't know, probably a half a kilometer walk to get to the adit. So while we're walking here through Mineville, I just wanted to uh, explain, since this is the first video on the uh, Nova Scotia Mine Hunters channel, that basically the format we're going to follow is something like this where we, uh, we're going to feature a certain mine opening discovery that we've found, uh, whether, you know, somewhat cool or absolutely spectacular. And as we go on with our explorations, uh, we'll show you everything that we find. Today's visit of the Mineville Adit is not anything particularly special. It's a nice pretty day out in the forest, but as far as the adit goes, is it ridiculously insane and a dangerous adventure for this one? No, not at all. We're going to start the channel with this episode, episode one, fairly simple, and, uh, and that's how it'll go for this one. So the theme for today is just to get the format down and show you uh, how these videos will work in the future. We have some uh, incredible explorers to do sites have already been found and we'll bring them to you and uh, those will come in future episodes. You now all these spots we're going to find are going to be throughout Nova Scotia, um, more central Nova Scotia, sort of the uh, maybe the eastern shore valley areas. We're not going to make it up to uh, the Cape Breton areas this year, maybe even not next year because there's so much to find and see with what we're discovering in the zone we're in but that's the way it'll go. And as we discover more, visit more, scout more, enter more mines, we will uh, we'll bring it to you and show you. Now, you know you're getting close because as you're walking along the path, you'll find these ridiculous cave-ins off to the side. This one goes down probably 10, 12 feet. And it is one of the original collapsed shafts that are plunged into the earth around here somewhere. Uh, they're all over the place. We'll visit a few of those in a bit, but that's what you find here on the side of the, uh, the trail. Hopefully no ATVs go plunging in there if they come across here at the wrong angle. All right, I found something that's a little upsetting to see because um, the last time I was here, there was families out here um, valiantly hunting for this poor little Sheltie. Um, that was approximately two months ago when I was here to the ad at last. And it's sad to see that this sign is, uh, is up. I don't know if that signifies it, it was truly lost, but, um, two months later, maybe they just didn't come back for the sign. But the fact that day there were no signs up, they were hunting. So the fact that they had to go actually make signage and come back out here and put them up throughout on trees um, isn't a good sign so let's uh, let's hope for that poor little Sheltie. All right we're almost there basically we just uh, go down this hill and um, it's just down here to the left. The cool thing about this added again this isn't about being spectacular it's not being about you know going into a mile long uh, mine workings. This one's just to start off the channel and visit something that's very pretty, picturesque in the forest and uh, and just show it to you. Um, it just comes, comes across you really quick and uh, here it is over here. Very foreboding, dark hole in the hill. Beautiful little adit. And uh, we're going to take a little walk inside. It's only approximately, I'd say, 70 feet long, 80 feet long but uh, we'll have a look around. So 
here we are, a real picturesque portal right there. Uh, like I said, it only goes in about 70, 80 feet. We'll take a little peekaboo with our flashlight to start, and then we'll take a venture inside. But uh, like I say, nothing meant to be spectacular here today as far as a deep, dangerous walk, um, exploring unseen underground workings. This uh, has been visited by probably hundreds, if not thousands of people um, that walk the trail here in Mineville. Very well known. All right, we're gonna go into the Mineville Adit. <clears throat> and as you can see right at the beginning, um, there is uh, water. It's a really flooded floor and uh, kids and people have put timbers in there and old logs and stuff. And we're gonna try and walk on these, although my ability to carry a camera since I'm doing this solo today um, with flashlights is going to be interesting. There is a foggy mist um, in the air that emanates from the adit, um, but uh, that's because it's so moist in here and humid today. All right, there's looking down the adit, there is, uh, there's an old ladder thrown in the water here. As you can see, lots of uh, vegetation and logs thrown into the water to try and keep it shallow. I'd say the water is approximately 8 to 10 inches deep. Um, and it's always this way. Every time I've been here, it's been this way. So it just doesn't drain. Probably has a very solid bottom. Beautiful hard rock uh, cut through here. Uh, you can probably see the uh, some seams of uh, some quartz there. But there we are looking back out outdoors. All right, here we are at the end of the adit, and as you can see, there's just a collapse or a, a plug, a dirt pile that comes piling in. Um, this did have an opening at this other end that came out the other side of the hill, either due to collapse or that's just the way they reach the other side, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, it just ends here, and uh, not a very big adit. It's approximately only f maybe five feet tall from the floor and maybe six feet wide. It's pretty tight in here. I'm noticing the LED flashlights may be causing interference on the screen, so forgive me. Um, we'll have to get that adjusted some other time, but let's turn around here. Look back down. There is, uh, there's looking down the adit uh, to the entrance. You can see the, uh, the forest light down there. Like I say, only 70, 80 feet long. Okay, just in a little more detail, here is the end again, looking up past uh, the end plug, up to the ceiling. And up there is where there's a garbage pile on the other side of the hill, which, which is where we'll be going next. But um, if you black out the flashlight, you can usually see a little bit of daylight up in there. I, I tried to do it on the camera, but you can't really tell because it is so faint. But uh, we'll see out there on the other side in a moment. Spectacular light show on the walls from the, I'll bounce here in the water on the ladder, yeah. Discotheque in the Mineville Adit. All right, we're back outside. We're gonna go uh, up this hill over here. See that little path into the distance and that will be where we're going to head to get up to the top of the hill and down to the backside of where the Adit ends. Let's go. All right, up here at the top, um, there's immediate evidence of, uh, of the collapses or other digs they were doing, surface mining possibly. Um, there's one slight trench here by the trail, but if we continue down and head into the bushes here, it's uh, slightly more significant. All right, as we head down here, and there's lots of these, um, there's a... Uh, there's a fairly deep one there, about 12, 15 feet. You come over here, and there's a big crevasse down into there. Again, another 12, approximately 12 feet. All right. So here is the big pit, and that's approximately, I don't know, again, 12, 15 feet down there, but this is approximately, I don't know, 50 feet across, 60 feet across. And, uh, Right there where you see that garbage is, uh, 
That's the end of the adit. That's the actual plug on the outside here that continues down inside as a slope of dirt and mud and rock and garbage. There it is right there. That's where the light creeps in. If you turn off all your flashlights, you can see the daylight from out here. Well, this brings us to the conclusion of this episode. Beautiful, misty, foggy day out here in the Mineville Forest. And we'll just end here again up at the top of the hill with all of the collapses. And they're all around me. It's like a moon surface, but uh, it's interesting. One little at it and all this digging and collapsing out here. It all happened at one time. And it's just left for posterity. But that'll end this episode, episode one, just a little taste, a little non-adventurous, more picturesque type of a visit to an old mine opening, the Mineville Adit, here in Mineville, Nova Scotia. See you next time. <laughs>